Hey, I'm Kelly Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief Fast City 3. This, because of the economic slowdown, I'm sure has been a slow year in gadget news, but this week it's been pretty hopping. Let's start with some camera news that may not have much impact immediately, but it'll change quite a bit in the coming years. Panasonic announced the AG HMC40, and it's one anybody producing pro web video will want to start wishing for. It shoots 1080p at 24 frames per second and stores all that cinematic goodness on SDHC cards. The price is $3,195, and believe it or not, that's relatively affordable compared to previous prosumer cameras with similar specs. It'll also shoot 1080i or 720p videos at 60 frames per second. It'll also shoot 10.6 megapixel stills. The AG HMC40 will be out in August, but later in our future, Panasonic will offer a sweet 3D full HD camera meant to capture video to be enjoyed on all those future 3D HD TVs. It'll shoot to Panasonic P2 cards, the same ones used in the HVX200A we're shooting on now. The new camera, is still very much in development, has two lenses, and each lens records to a separate channel on the P2 cards. The two lenses are placed side by side at the same relative distance as human eyes, so the camera captures the same stereoscopic data or I see. This is the first day I ever realized that Geek Brief TV might someday be in 3D. I'm personally excited about the drop in price of the new E-Series P2 cards from Panasonic. By August, a 16GB card will be $420, a 32GB model will be $625, and a 64GB E-Series P2 card will be $998. Still freaking expensive, but not as expletive deleted expensive. <laughs> and now for something completely different. I'm a big fan of home automation because it can make our homes more efficient to save cash and it can also make our homes way more fun. Case in point, the Smart Faucet by iHouse. It uses facial recognition to automatically activate the faucet and adjust the water temperature to match the preferences of individual users in the home. Its touch screen provides access to email, calendar data, weather information, and an unspecified more. I'd be happy with just Twitter. LED lights change the appearance of the water as it heats up or cools down. Today's Geek Brief features a lot of stuff few of us will actually be buying, so let's do one more that makes sense for all of us. It's the Belkin Micro Auto Charger. We've seen this before, but this one looks especially sleek because it doesn't stick out as much as some of the others. In fact, Belkin says it sits flush with your car's dash when it's plugged into the DC power socket. There isn't much to say about it. It's USB power from your car and it looks nice. Sweet and simple. I'm hesitant to talk much about Twitter because it's gone so mainstream now, but this is sufficiently geeky that I don't think you'll hear about it from Mario Lopez. Adam Wilson, a University of Wisconsin-Madison biomedical engineering student, created an interface between an electroencephalogram and an on-screen letter selector. The computer monitors brain waves and inputs the desired letters into a tweet. Twitter, since it's limited to 140 characters, is actually a pretty nice choice to use to demo the project. Thanks for watching. Always remember, never forget, my promo codes GB1 or GB2 or GB3 all save you money when you enter them at checkout at GoDaddy.com. GoDaddy.com is the best place to start your next life project. Thanks for watching. I'm Callie Lewis. You, can, you messed with my head.